what can be done to treat AML if it doesn't go into remission or uh, people relapse, it comes back? So if AML doesn't go into remission, so-called refractory AML, uh, there are a couple of different options. Uh, in the last two years, the FDA has approved eight new medications for treatment of different subsets of patients with AML, and three of these are specifically for those with relapsed or refractory disease. In addition, some of the medications that um, have been used previously are still effective in patients with relapsed or refractory disease. So typically one would switch to a different type of chemotherapy or to a targeted agent if a specific target is present. For instance, if the patient's AML cells have an IDH2 mutation, if an inhibitor of IDH2 and acidinib was not used previously, that could be employed if the AML were to come back or, or were uh, resistant. And so uh, with these new approaches, um, most patients with AML, certainly unfortunately not all, but most patients with AML can achieve a, a remission. Uh, the challenge is that that remission is often not very durable unless a stem cell transplant is undertaken. The most difficult scenario that we face is a relapse after transplantation, partly because the patient may have adverse effects of the transplantation that are lingering, and partly because if it comes back after transplant, we no longer have that as a, as a modality uh, that, that we can try, although there are some rare patients who have had a second uh, transplant or other way of manipulating the immune system. So relapse refractory disease, there are options, but it very much depends on the specific circumstances of the patient and their treatment history.